some words right now. Come on, let your voice out. As you lift your hands, let your voice out. Hallelujah. Let everything that has breath, let everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, let your voice out for a few moments. Praise the Lord. Just a few more moments. Get that. Let that girl sound of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you don't know what to say, just say hallelujah. It means out of me for God. I give you my all, God. Hallelujah. 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 I praise you, Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. I want if you take take both of your hands, if you put them over your ears, I want you to pray and say, Lord, I want to hear your voice this week. Would you do that? Would you say, Lord, I want to hear your voice at this conference? Speak to us, God, as a as a people. Speak to us, God, as an apostolic movement. Speak to us. It's a conference this week in the name of Jesus. Come on, pray that prayer. The Lord will answer that prayer if you'll pray it with sincerity. God, I want to hear your voice. I, I need you to speak to me this week. I need to hear your word. I need to hear your voice. I need to hear your direction. I need a word from heaven spoken into my life this week. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, I feel the presence of the Lord right now. We're not in a hurry. We're not in a hurry. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What a wonderful presence of the Lord in this first night of General Conference. I've been now, I think, six years in a row to General Conference, and I'm not sure I've ever seen a bigger crowd in the first night of General Conference than we have this year. And I just believe, can you feel or sense in your spirit that God is going to do some incredible things at this point? Amen. Before this conference is over, this, this podium is going to be filled with stickers. Yes. Yes. They're, they're, they're yellow this year, is that right? Yes. Yes. I see yellow stickers. If you've got a yellow sticker, are they yellow? Last year they were green, this year they're yellow. If you have a yellow sticker on, that means you came to this conference wanting to be filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And when you are received, when you receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost this week, they're going to take that sticker off of your shirt or dress, and they're going to stick it on this podium. And by the time this conference is over, this whole podium is going to be covered with yellow stickers because God's going to throw a whole bunch of folks in the baptism 
from the Holy Ghost this week. There are people that came sick in your body, and God is going to heal your body this week at General Conference. There are people that came discouraged that God is going to renew your faith and renew your vision and renew your passion. There are those that feel like you are cold in your walk with God, and God is going to renew the fire of the Holy Ghost in your life this week. I do you believe that? that God is going to do amazing things in this conference this week. Would you remain standing just a moment as we read God's word? And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And what did Adam say? I heard thy voice in the garden. I was afraid. Adam said, I was afraid. He said, I was naked. He would say, I was naked. I was afraid. I was naked. And I hid myself. And God said, what did God say? What was God's response? Simply the question, who told you that thou wast naked? I want to preach on this first night of general conference. Who are you listening to? Who are you listening to? Set your Bible down if you would. And one more time, would you lift your hands and your voices? Lord, I thank you for your anointing that we felt through this worship season. I thank you for the apostolic authority that is flowing through this room tonight. The power of the Holy Ghost that is flowing through this great body of people. Minister to us tonight through your word. I pray it be more than a sermon. I pray it be a living word from heaven. Let it be a rain of God that will breathe life. I pray in the name of Jesus that it would silence the voice of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, let the word of God silence the voice of the enemy. In Jesus' name, would you shout? In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Ask your neighbor, who are you listening to? And you may be seated. nakedness. 
It was spiritual. He was feeling the consequences of sin. A feeling of nakedness before God. 